Hello friends, welcome back to ProHut IT Services. In this video, we'll learn the steps of promoting Windows Server 2012 R2 as a domain controller. Before we start promoting this box as a domain controller, please ensure that you have assigned static IP address to your server. To promote this box as a domain controller, click on Server Manager. Click on Manage. Select Add Roles and Features. Click Next. Select the default option that is Role Based or Feature Based Installation and click on Next. Select the server which you want to promote as a domain controller and click on Next. Select Active Directory Domain Services that is ADDS role and then click on Add Features. Add Features is going to install all the dependent features on which ADDS is dependent. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Next. Click on Install. It will initiate the installation of ADDS role. This installation is going to take few minutes. So I'll pause the video and we'll be back once the ADDS role is installed. As we can see that the installation is completed. Now we need to click on promote this server to a domain controller and it will start the configuration wizard out of all the options that we can see we need to click on add a new forest because this is the new installation that we are doing and we are creating a new domain and new forest once you click on that it will ask you the root domain name so you can specify the domain name that you want to assign for your environment as of now we are giving it prohut.net and then click on next Type the password for directory services restore mode. Click on next. Click on next again. It is checking the NetBoy's name whether the same name exists in your environment or not. Click on next. These are the default locations for the database log files and syswall files. If you want to change it you can else you need to click on next. It is to review your selections. If you want to do some modification, you can go back and do the modification. Else, click on next. Now you need to click on install and it will install or it will start promoting your box as a domain controller. Again, it is going to take few minutes. So I'll pause the video and we'll be back once the installation is completed. As we can see that the installation is completed and this box is promoted as a domain controller. But let's go ahead and verify the same. To do that you can either run dsa.msc. It will open Active Directory Users and Computers. Expand prohut.net that is your domain name on the left hand side and then click on domain controllers OU. Domain controllers OU will show you all the domain controllers that you have in your environment. So out here we can see that this box is promoted as a domain controller and we can see it in domain controllers OU. If you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video. Thank you.